Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we- Oh, are they fighting in there? Oh my gosh. If I- Can I- Oh, okay. I was gonna see if I like- if my shields would go away or something. Um, anyway, I think I was mentioning earlier that I think I may have missed a few, few pickups, but I uh, think- I think I'm not super concerned about it. Look at this, what this gun can do- Oh my gosh, what is this, Dragon Age 2? The enemies are mailing themselves in. Um, am I supposed to like- I don't know, I feel like I'm not necessarily supposed to be defeating enemies. I'm- I should be looking for a way to get them out. Okay, maybe I just gotta follow the enemies, honestly. I think there was one- Oh, he, I flew him too far away. Is there one behind me? No? Oh, there was, okay. Come on. Do it. Or no. I guess we'll do it this way. Shepard, there's no let up. Yeah, I I try I I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. I'm waiting for the, the arbitrary um um and the the arbitrary point to be hit of time. The, the arbitrary time uh limit. Aw, oh, dang, I thought I blew him off the edge. Um, I mean, I will just follow the enemies, though, right? This is the... Uh, maybe I blow up the reactor? Oh my gosh, blow up the whole thing. I was going to be so mad at me. Haha, -ha, buttons! Shepard knows how to button. You can't do this, Commander. There's more at stake. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I know. That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards Oh, never mind, dang it. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't What? Shut it no! Down. Shepard, don't. Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Uh, yeah, no. Damn it. Hold tight down there. I might. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're almost spent. Irene, watch your I mind. might lose them because of that. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. Just throw thousands of lives away. Shepard, now reads down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. I, I can't. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. That's not. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough. I don't know. I've had to do the kill thousands before. And I don't want to do that again. But I think I just lost Nyrene and Arya. the whole point but we wanted to save these people so and have them you know fight for All themselves units, battle stations prepare for attack but get the demolition crews into position also I don't know they're gonna die either way like sending the people out to fight or letting them suffocate I'd rather them fight you know I'd rather fight oh my gosh you're still alive I actually did not I did not think that was gonna happen honestly you okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud her. I suppose. I trusted you, ha! Huh? You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Naimi. Very impressive. But yeah, but... Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You... Tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough. It's all love. she knows, really. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on things. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. 
<laughs> no, I think she really. This is her. If if she didn't care, she wouldn't say anything. Getting reports about the adjectives. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless death. I mean, really, honestly, it's good to have like a homegrown force. I think, and especially Omega's people, I think they'll do better than most, you know? I think most of them have to have some sort of training. But mostly it's like back alley stuff, right? It's not full frontal assault type stuff. But if they could do guerrilla warfare, like... That would be good. And I think there's plenty of times in this war where we're going to lose civilians on a massive scale. In the billions. And if we can save a few people, a few hundred, a few hundred, a few, a few hundred or a few thousand people here, like, I'm, I'm all for it, you know? We are going to have to make decisions later. And people in the galaxy, like leaders in the galaxy, everybody's going to have to make decisions on what they're willing to sacrifice or not. And there are times where you need to sacrifice... Like, there's, like, the greater good thing, right? We're, like, save the greater number of people, but there's also the save the people who can do the work. You know, like, who, who have the training, who have the know-how, you know? And maybe they'll stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and wonder if it was all worth it in the end. But, like, I don't know. I think there are situations where you have to keep, like, the specialist-type people alive. But also, like, if there's only, like, a few people left, it's like, it might have been the Protheans, right? Like, a few of them survived, but they were... They weren't a viable population after that, you know? Like, you can't, like, you can be like, I'm the king, I deserve to be saved. But if your whole kingdom's annihilated, what are you the king of? You know? Like, anyway. Do what you can Moralizing. Of course, Commander. Ah, uh, arrow! Report. Our team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Like, I think we have two people here, right? We have Arya. They detonate the main column. They'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. We're like, yeah, okay. I like it when you're feisty. Oh, gee, she just winked at her. Oh, my gosh. Nyreen's like, I don't need this right now. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. Hey, stuff. Look at that. Do I want... Are they fighting out there? That's hilarious. This is fine. Oh, I should have modified... Uh... What's her name? I should have modified... Arya. Anyway, um... If we have Nyreen focus on saving civilians, Arya and I can go get stuff done, right? Like, we have enough people for this. Well, and we don't, have to, we don't even have to save civilians, necessarily. We just need to support them. You know? I think... If, and I guess if this was just like a long... long-term... ...objective... We could do guerrilla war warfare more, where like, uh, which is kind of what um, what's his name, Anderson is doing, Space Dad. You know? Oh, geez. oh, I can't pull. Ooh, what happened to me? Am I in cover technically? I hope so. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. They just die. Come on, oh, I am trying to punch before he punches me. Uh, I keep uh, firing too soon. I love this gun. So many fun guns in this game. I actually, I should look it up if this is a, if this is like a DLC gun or.
Ooh, yes, give me the generator. Gimme. Give Gimme! Give can I not? <clears throat> okay, now I can react it for myself. That's how that's how you override things, kids. You blow it up first. And then By blowing it up. That's Shepard's method. Oh, oh. We can extend the dam in the control room. That should get us Extend the dam. Extend the dam in the control room. So I'm assuming that I failed whatever uh, whatever we needed to get the the machine part for that one mechanic guy because uh, the base has been breached. Let's go. It seems. Any goodies? No? Goodies? No? Please? Dang. I, s I mean, I looked around. What's down there? Treats for me? Oh, I'm gonna just... Irene here. We've engaged servers and cleared our first target. ETA to the Gozu district is on track. Excellent. The yeah, couch! That's what you wanted. Oh my gosh! Is that my? <laughs> oh my gosh! I honestly, that of all things, I was like, I don't think we're gonna find that. Like, but okay, it was underwater too. Oh my gosh! It's gonna be a. I think she would just get a new one, you know? Like, I don't think R is that sentimental. But I think I, I don't know. I could definitely see her being like sentimental about something that's inanimate. Because it's not gonna like betray her or stab her in the back or anything, you know? So I can see her having a little bit of sentimentality for the couch. <laughs> I love this guy so much. <laughs> oh, dang it, that didn't work as well. There we go. <laughs> Gotta fire at their feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shepard, we need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. Ooh, money. Hi, Kiki. Is Kitty keeping me busy? Keeping me busy? Keeping me company. He likes to hang out on the bed. My sister's cat. He's a big orange one. He's so majestic. He's like a little lion. So cute. He's like the chillest cat on the, in the world. We move our helmet to slide down. This is interesting, going like behind the scenes on things. Oh, here I was trying to go up. How silly. How exciting. Good. My gun is hungry. They're messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Got it, got it. Scour the area. I love that ability also. Engineers suck. Come here. Dang it. Oh, I guess I just do the little one. There you go. Little punch. Over there. We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. The bomb controls. I see that. This way. Yeah, I see. What? Who are you? Who is this? Call of Duty? Are you freaking? Uh, I'll save the med kit for now. I'm just looking to see if there's anything to pick up. I kind of assume I'll be running around all over this area anyway, but. You never know. Like I said, I think I've already picked up some things and I keep mentioning it. Like I don't mind and I don't mind, but I kind of do. <laughs> I don't even want to use it. I just want to have them. Got it. Those bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Fighting with Arya is very fun. I am having an excellent time.
Can't get me. Wow. See, you gotta be actually pretty precise. There we go, either side. Wow. Oh, there we go. It, I actually just realized that the reticule turns red whenever you're um, lined up on them. Good to know. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, we have- we are timed! Oh, I did not realize we were timed. Oh, but we are given an excellent amount of time. This is like, um, Aspect 1, where you're trying to take the bombs out in the starting- well, yeah, the starting area, not even prime. Punch you to death. Get out. Oh, nice. Alright, cover me! Clear the room of enemies. I really should make use of Arya's abilities. I really am just having a good time. There's somebody to my left. Um, I'm having a good time. No function detected. Oh, you're dead. Okay. One more. <laughs> <laughs> the way you can bounce them off this the walls. Over here. What? What? You want to you want to talk over here? Okay. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Those Keep guns don't sound coming. nearly as impressive as mine. Yes, boss. holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Uh-oh. Here's a choice. Maybe. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. Save those you can? We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. That's not what we've been doing this whole time? Oh. Oh, she means like. Okay. Oh, all right. I thought she was gonna. I thought she was gonna like pull a jack and just like punch her way through. Like the whole place. Uh. Which honestly, I think I'd have to say, if he was the most powerful biotic in cutscenes, it's probably Jack still. Like out of everybody, and it's just a bummer that they can't. Um, they can't have her show her full potential like that. Oh no 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 no! Go back down. Could be the town. Get down! Get down! Down down down! I saw the thing down there. Haha! -ha, shotgun high velocity barrel too. Come on! I was like, oh no! Adjutant out! Oh no! Is that what that was? Get somebody getting chucked over the edge. We're good. I don't need to reload. Okay. I think mostly I want to pick up the stuff because if I don't, I think some people might be like, hey, you didn't pick up the stuff. And I'm going to be like, listen. And there are adjutants here. Track our progress to seal the rooms behind us. Yes, Arya. Okay, so that does make sense. I'm glad she is. I don't think she's like the thing is is I don't think Arya is like totally totally heartless. I think she is willing to do what she needs to to survive, but she's not gonna have like unnecessary deaths. Are you like? Oh, I thought you were like missing all your limbs. Uh oh, it's too quiet in here. Too quiet in here. And there's blood. There's guts. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Yeah. Um, so I see that door over there. Yes, I do. So, that's a civilian. Oh, uh, well, this, uh, speak of the devil, Jack. This reminds me of where we picked up Jack. With the civilian population contained, we uh. are ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. 
Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand They're doing by 300%. Figures, okay, they are doing experiments on purpose with the adjutants. Uh, maybe they weren't initially doing it. Although, how were they How were they created, I guess? How did they, I don't know, maybe it's been a while, maybe. I, I don't know if they already told me if I know how they were formed, but, um. Oh, let's see. Or if I don't know, and it's like, oh, no, they just came out of nowhere. But obviously, it's like husk technology. It's reaper technology, rather. Sorry, I always call it husk technology because that's where I first saw it, you know, in Mass Effect 1. You see the husk coming down off those, well, I guess it was like geth, it looked like geth technology, but it was reaper technology. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed look, look, look. and moved. Oh, my water tastes nasty, you guys. Yuck. We can now control when and where that is a person in there. Okay. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. I think, I know this kind of thing is real. Like, people, there are scientists that would see, would, would be able to, like, talk like this about these kinds of things, but it's horrifying, right? civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process okay, I think of this was the, the video control we saw. implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current yeah. success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me just, la, 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 I'm opening a can. Anyway, um, dang. So they can control it now, which is good, because there's no point. It's like Resident Evil, right? Where they're like, it's definitely going to be a good idea. Umbrella Corporation's like, for the 30th time, they're like, no, no, it's definitely a good idea if we set out an uncontrollable zombie virus. I'm sure it'll work this time. It's like Jurassic Park. It's like, what? <laughs> An alien isolation, too. Or an alien in general, right? Where they're like, no, no, we're definitely going to be able to control the alien this time. It's like, ah <laughs> Oh. There's idiots who are experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Yeah, it didn't. Actually, I am um, curious. Non sapient creatures? Nope, okay. Pressure maws are subterranean. Nope, I. Uh, mm, mm, I worked. Non I was like, they are sentient, but they're not sapient. Okay, that's, that makes sense. Um, do we have, like, Reaper? No. Oh my gosh, I can't. Sorry, I'm not used to using the mouse and keyboard, I think. Reaper War, Omega Omega Secrets? Adjutant. It's, an ex it's a Cerberus code name for an experimental subject created at a secret facility beyond the Omega 4. Okay, I do remember them saying something about how they came beyond the Omega-4 relay now. They are based on Reaper technology, and the adjutants encountered on Omega have the ability to affect in any life form to create a new adjutant. They are deadly pack hunters. They initially remain hidden, observing potential victims and distracting them with subtle whis whispers. Oh, creepy, awesome. When they select a target, adjutants ambush them with charged projectiles that create violently unstable mass effect field that causes severe disorientation and renders the target helpless. They weren't that bad for me. They just kind of were like hard to see through a little bit. Enhanced muscle tissue gives adjutants the ability to leap surprising distances. They are, I think, the fastest moving um, Reaper-esque creatures, uh, except for one who is my least favorite of all time that we haven't met yet, and I'm just, they don't really move fast so much as they freaking weeping angel over to you, and I hate that so much. Um, Anyway, they leap in. They, the baseline form of being does not match any known species. You know, biologists suspect that Reapers may have originally created and implemented the virus several cycles before protein extinction, and that it still carries genetic traces of the original host. If this is true, then like the collectors, adjutants are a glimpse of the distant past that a species whose very existence and struggle against the Reapers has long been forgotten. The archaeologist in me is like, ah, like I hate the idea of so much knowledge being lost, you know? Like, Wow. I mean, that's how it works. That's how the Reapers do it. It's the 50,000 year cycles, you know, but it's still like, like, we don't, we have such little, like, you would think in such a big, like, I don't know, you feel like somebody at, like, a university somewhere would have been like, hey, we have a surprising lack of, like, 
history of like xenobiology of xenoarchaeology like uh, even maybe not written records right but like we have a surprising lack of like you know alien burial or or anything like that like to think that your galaxy is only like a 50,000 year history is like kind of an odd thing to think I think you know um and to be like oh yeah this is totally fine I mean I'm sure you could like mental gymnastics it where it's like oh yeah life only started here like like sentient or sapient life I guess only started you know relatively recently um I mean the like the Asari and stuff hang on I am just like I am thinking like human humanity technically is like million I think it was like three million years old if we go back to our like earliest ancestors I think I am not a paleoarchaeologist I just read some books about it because I think it's interesting um but as we as we they've noted before that like they the reason humanity was left alone was because they weren't considered they weren't at a technological advance a technologically advanced level yet same as with like Asari, you know, Solaire, all of them were not, they were, they were, they were advanced in that like they were, they were, you know, they were, they had like basic technologies, right? By, by base, I mean like stone technologies, like lithic technologies and stuff like that. Um, but they weren't advanced enough to warrant total wipe, being wiped out. They had no space travel, nothing like that. Um, so anyway, sorry, I am just blah 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 trying to talk about too many things at once and I lost track of what I was trying to say I think but it's just it's interesting to think that maybe somewhere along the way somebody was like hey this seems a bit odd that like the history of our galaxies like the, the of the like advancement but I get I, like I think I guess you could say like you know oh yeah we're totally the first ones and we evolved like all like oh, sorry Solarian human and it's like and we evolved and it took us a freaking long time and like you know and then and then now we are where we're at like I guess that makes sense but they have evidence like we've read in Mass Effect 1 um specifically and maybe in Mass Effect 2 where there's like there are some planets where they found like Xeno Xenoarchaeology, where they found look like graves, you know, of like, and they have like a couple different names of these older species that they don't know why they were gone. Anyway, it's all you know, it's hindsight 2020, right? We can be like, oh yeah, sorry, I thought this was the way out. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, oh dang, what? No, I did think this was the way out. Is this not the way out? Central, oh, we need to go to, am I not? I mean, I already read that down there. Is there something more down there? Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I definitely was just, like, chilling down there for a bit because I thought, like, this was, like, a side thing. Is it? You want me to do more? Oh, there's more. Okay. My bad. Uh, I thought it was just, like, oh, you could accidentally miss this, you know? Test adjutants have escaped. They are to be rounded up and transferred to central accused holding po post haste. Damage is to be avoided at all costs under severe combat pay deductions. Okay. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Yes. And those aren't unlocked. civilians. Let's get the out of here. The dead people out there aren't civilians. Those are the scientists. Hey, everyone. Sorry to cut this one a bit short. Uh, the episode ended up going a little bit longer, and I didn't uh, find a good place to stop when I was recording, so... Here we are now with that decision. <laughs> so uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I think we'll be finishing up Omega in the next one. So we're running pell-mell towards the finale. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, my friend. I really appreciate it a lot and I hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, and I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I appreciate very, 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 very much. So thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.